G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Now I'm out here today at this field uh, with the brand new FQ777. It comes in this uh, case here. This is called the F8 drone, okay? So it's just been released from FQ777. Hopefully my hat cam's picking it up today on screen right now. And basically it comes with this case and here is all the contents inside. So today what I'm actually gonna do is uh, just put it up in the air. Uh, this is gonna be my maiden flight review and I'm um, just gonna test out, not all the features, but uh, I'll test out a, to see how the camera is for starters. Uh, it claims to have 4K camera. Here it is here. As you can see, it's a Mavic Air style knockoff, okay? This one runs in around uh, $150 mark for the one battery uh, package. I have two batteries, I've got a spare one here. And um, basically today, I'm just gonna test out this drone. Uh, as I said, it claims it's got a 4K camera, but I think that's just for the actual photos, like many others on the market today, okay? Now this is called the Monster Drone as well. So they're coming up with some funny names lately. Oh, you know, there's the Beast and uh, a few other d different uh, names, but this one's called the Monster. And yeah, as you can see, it's just a Mavic Air clone or knockoff. Um, it's got the same sort of foldable rear arms as the Mavic Air and also these little extenders on the bottom so just be sure to remind yourself it tells you to fold it downwards anyway so you don't mistake it for the front ones these fold forwards like most of those other foldable drones but the rear ones you don't want to do that you'll snap the arm okay so as you can see yeah it's got little eyes on the front two axis gimbal um i think it's meant to shoot in video in 2.7 or close to 2.7 k and uh, 1080p, one or the other. It's, they, they basically write that, all these different uh, specs on the actual listing, which will be linked below uh, to Banggood if you want to check this one out. All right, guys? So basically today I just want to put it up in the air, uh, give you my initial thoughts on it, and I may try some uh, of the advanced features, just like the maybe just the orbit and the follow me. I'm not really interested in trying the gesture photos and videos and waypoints and stuff like that but this one is supposed to have all them options i have a sd card in the bottom there uh it's a 16 gigabyte uh, class 10 it's also got an optical flow positioning uh system on the bottom little tiny camera there it probably shoots in uh 720p i'm not too sure if you can um actually switch from the two but you really don't really want to that's just for indoor flying the power buttons on the bottom here as well and uh, yeah two axis gimbal on this one okay so um, I'll turn that on in a second I'll just quickly go through the box you get the instruction booklet very small but it's very detailed the uh, app for this one is called uh, VPS or VGPS onto the controller it's a very uh, familiar looking controller like some other brands out there it is rather cheap feeling uh, these antennas are fake just like many others we're all used to that by now we've got the uh, phone clip there in the middle but this one has an LCD screen a really tiny one but it's there uh, on in the middle there um, we've got everything labeled uh, one key return power button takeoff and landing uh, the headless mode we've got the speed switch it's got two speeds I believe uh, with a scroll wheel for, uh, left and right there plus and minus dedicated buttons for either the photo and the video as well so that's pretty good and we've got the gimbal tilt for up and down okay now this one's got a uh, rechargeable lipo inside it I think it's probably a 350 milliamp hour like most of these you can fold the arms out as well on the bottom and there's a reason for that that they're uh, closed up at the moment I'll show you that in a second but yeah there's the actual uh, little uh, charging port it's just a micro USB so as you can see there's no sticks here so what they've done FQ777 have gone try to go down that you know Mavic Air DJI route by putting them in the handles okay so you just uh, take them out and push them on 
where's the other one it's in there somewhere oh here it is just push them on they don't screw on okay and then you got your little gimbal sticks all right so that's that and basically there's not really much to it I've got a second battery here it's a three cell okay and it's a 2500 milliamp hour 20c and it's meant to give us about uh, 25 minutes flight time let me just take it out quickly what I like about this battery though is that as you can see there there's the specs 2500 milliamp hour 20c 11.1 .1 volt so it's good that it's got a 3 cell but it's also got a uh, 3s balance port so that's rather neat but the only drawback about that is that the charger with it as you can see it's got the little balance uh, plug there it's still a USB uh, you know trickle charger okay so only runs two amps so uh, it didn't take that long for it to charge but obviously this is in storage rate but if you've got a fully depleted one expect it to take a while to charge there's a little bit of a solution to that though you could just get a one of these uh, extender cables plug it in male to female and then put on your hobby grade charger so that is a good plus uh, that they've actually put a balance uh, port on there, balance plug for a 3S on there makes it a lot easier okay um, we've also got the little uh, USB charger for the the remote and that's pretty pretty much it uh, just in that box is the spare props and and uh, you know extra screws and uh, a, a little uh, screwdriver alright guys so um, what I'll do I'll set it up I'll put the app on and uh, we'll take it for a quick flight so just give me a minute and I'll set it up. Okay guys, I'm pretty much nearly set up. So uh, first what we want to do is turn the drone on. Hold it down till you hear that chime, okay? Now we've got the lights on the front, which are green on the arms, and we've got the bright white ones in the eyes there, and some red ones on the back. And then what you want to do is turn on your TX, which is a quick press and then a long one. And we've got some telemetry on the screen there. Now hear that beep? That means it automatically binds. So you don't have to do up and down or anything like that on the throttle. It's looking for satellites at the moment. Okay. Now since I've got the drone on, I'm going to quickly go and... Let me see, I might have to swing it down. We'll connect to the Wi-Fi. Turn that on. I'm going to start a Moby Zen recording. Now this has got GPS and GLONASS. I've already got five satellites. As you can see, I haven't turned it on for that long. Okay, it's connected to the HX 5G with a number combination after that. So we're good to go there. I may turn my location on as well. Okay. And uh, that should be good to go. Go back into the V. GPS app. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, so I don't know what that's for. Okay, now what I'm going to do is where is the Moby Zen? I'm going to record on the Moby Zen. Just hit a few prompts there. Three, two, one. I have a sp screen recording now on the Moby Zen. Okay, now it's showing 11 satellites on the actual app and 11 on the controller, so that's awesome. Now what we want to do is the compass calibration. So it's the right hand stick, okay, the pitch and roll up to the top and left on the bottom, okay. Now to do the compass calibration, it's pretty easy. You just hold it forward and then just do a figure eight. Hear those series of beeps? It's done. Okay, so we're ready to go guys. It's gonna be my maiden flight. Haven't flown it. I've only just received it the other day. So um, let's go. Now the props on this one are push down and twist props too. I think it's pretty much like the uh, DJI product. So uh, let's try and do a recording first. Okay, that's recording. Down and out, should fire up the props. Okay, ready to go. So let me just test the uh, takeoff and landing key. 
Okay. <laughs> she came back a little bit there, but uh, she's going back. Okay, so uh, how many satellites we've got? We've got 15, both on the app and on this little telemetry screen. I like how it's got this telemetry screen because it shows you that you're recording. You've got like a compass there as well. You've got the height and the actual meter of distance. So uh, let me face it to myself. Okay, she's sitting there. And let's test out this gimbal. So controls on the, on the right hand side scroll wheel. It's making a beep every time it uh, scrolls down. Okay, so a little bit of lag in the app. It runs off five, but not too bad. I've had worse. Okay, the wind's picking up. It was nice and calm when I was set up, so what's new for me, eh? We've got to get used to it. <laughs> well, you guys got to get used to it in my videos. I'm always battling on wind for some reason over here in Perth, but that's just where I live. So uh, let's see what the video is like on this. The, uh, the picture seems rather nice on my phone. I don't know if I can see a little bit of jello wobble though. But uh, we'll take it up a bit higher. Do a little bit of a pan. Really nice day out here today though guys. You can see Perth over in the distance there, see the city skyline in the north of the river. I live on the south. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to roll to the left, okay? So we get like a panning shot. And see how that gimbal performs. Two axis gimbal. Seems like it's not doing a bad job. So how far am I out? I'm 136 meters away. Okay, let me hit that return to home. Let's see what happens. So she's raising up. And it seems like it's facing... Yeah, it's reversing back to me. So it's not one of those drones that turns around to face where you are. It actually reverses back facing the way it took off. Okay. Well, she came back home pretty quick, didn't it? Let me uh, bring that gimbal down as far as I can. You can hear on the uh, transmitter that it is beeping. So that's as far as the gimbal will go, guys. About 45 degrees down. It's not one of those 90 degree drop. Uh, gimbals where you can face it right down Now they say that this one's got about a 20 to 25 minute flight time Sort of adjusting itself here. It's a bit off landing pads there Gonna land the soft grass Okay so it landed. Fifteen satellites. Okay. Slowly take the gimbal up. It's not a very fast gimbal. Okay, so there is that beep every time you play around with the gimbal. So uh, let's take it up again. I'll stop that recording and start another one just manually take off this time so it's holding position pretty good as you can see not bad we'll take it out a bit Let me try the speed rates out. I should be in speed rate one. So, just like the gimbal scroll wheel, you've got one on the left hand side, which is this speed. So, 
This is speed two. I am recording, aren't I? Yes. Okay. It's fighting a headwind here, so the wind's pushing it in its, into its face. For a GPS drone, it's doing pretty good. Oh, all right. So it just had to get its bearings there. Now I might try the follow me out. So let me face it to me. Go down a bit with the gimbal. So let's see how the follow me works. So we've got the icon on the left hand side there up the top. And we'll try it out. You see, it's not doesn't want to engage just yet. Whether it's the app or not, I'm not too sure. Or is it already engaging? Okay, so it doesn't have one of those prompts where it says, uh, you know, yes or no. So it's actually doing it automatically. Wow, she's following me pretty close. <laughs> okay, so it seems like it's jittering a little bit, but it's trying to pick me up. Seems to be doing a pretty good job though. Not too bad, anyway. Okay, let me get out of that. So it's stopped. That's stopped. Okay, what I might do is uh, try the, or try the actual uh, surround me mode now, since I'm out here on the field. So where's the orbit? It's at the top of the screen here near the satellite icon. Now I can set the parameters. I'll just do it to uh, five meters. Done. Confirm. It's raising up. And it's gonna start the surround me mode. As you can see, it's going around in the circle. Around that area, though. <laughs> okay. Well, it's around the area where it actually started the uh, GPS point of that area. So, just keep that in mind. Just doing a little orbit here. Can I adjust it up and down to do that? Yes, I can. So I can bring it in down a bit. That's pretty cool. I like it when you can adjust the... Some drones you can't adjust the, the throttle up and down. But as you can see, I can go up. And I can tilt the gimbal if I want down a bit as I'm doing it. All right, pretty cool. Okay, how's the battery life on this? Still got three bars of battery. I've got 18 satellites now guys and it's saying let me see on the screen 51% battery on the actual uh, on the actual uh, app okay let me finish that recording Let's take some photos send it out near the coast and see some uh, yachts out there some uh, Boats, sailboats. You see a, a tiny bit of wobble on my on my app. Doesn't look terribly bad. So let's take some nice photos here. I don't use the photo button yet on the TX, so you can do everything from the app. I've got an SD card, so I want to take some shots from the actual onto the SD card. Now it doesn't make any snapshot noises to let you know there's confirmation. Hopefully they're working out. What I'll do, I'll try some on the app as well just to make sure we've got some. 
I'm gonna try some on the app. This has like a backup. Pan to the left a bit, or yaw to the left. Nice shot there. So it's got a wide angle lens, as you can see the horizon has got that curvature effect. But it looks like a pretty decent camera on my phone anyway, guys, from what I can gauge by my app. And the actual, um, the actual uh, feed is pretty good too. Not that laggy, which I like to see. So let me take some more pictures here. Turn it around a bit. Okay. Am I in speed rate one or two? I'm in two now, so cruising pretty quick. Just to fight that wind. This seems like a pretty decent flyer. I mean, look at her, she's zooming. Let me take some video again. I like the dedicated buttons for the video and photo. This makes everything simple, rather than, you know, on one button, one long press. I mean, we're all used to that. I'm used to doing that, you know, one long press for a video. And it's just nice to have a dedicated button, you know? So let's have a look at it. I haven't taken a good look at it yet. Maybe I can get a thumbnail out of it. Okay. Bring it down a bit, have a look at it. So, pretty stable little uh, Mavic Air coming, you know? It's not too bad. This is only around 150 bucks, 145 dollars. So she's doing all right. Let me bring that gimbal up a bit. We've got some cyclists now, enjoying the day. It is a nice day. It's warm, but it's not too hot. I mean, I'm out here at like 10 o'clock in the morning, 10.30, about 11 o'clock, close to 11. So do a bit of a, like a droney. I'll do a range test on this another day, guys. Okay. So yeah, not too bad. So hopefully I've got some good footage there for you guys. Now, it's just sitting there. I still got pretty good battery. I'm at 18 uh, satellites still, 41% battery. Um, I don't know where the, the, the waypoints are as far as, I can't see any, um, even when I was at home, I couldn't see any uh, maps on this app. So I'm not even going to bother with waypoints. It's not something that I use anyway. Let me try that follow me a bit further away and see what happens while i got time. Okay, so you can see it sort of jittered there when I've activated it. So let's go for a bit of a walk. It's at a greater distance than I was at last time, so. See what sort of footage it can take of me. Just waving at it there. There's no obstacle avoidance on this one. Yeah, it's a nice day out here, guys. Put all my stuff near the tree. There's no one around to nick it, so... <laughs> Can't exactly run too much at the moment. <laughs> so I've got to go and uh, 
be seen to on uh, Friday. A minor surgery, so uh, I'm not going to run around like I usually do with these drones. I run around and try to fool them, and so this time it uh, looks like it's doing it a bit smoother. I think it was because it was close to me; it was starting to adjust itself a bit too much. So that's enough of that. I did turn it off. So yeah guys, um, seems to be performing pretty good. It's not a bad, it's not a bad drone actually. It's brand new, it's the latest one on the market. And I believe it's the, probably the first, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is the first FQ777 brushless drone that they've attempted to make. So, that's pretty good. They've done a pretty good job. Okay, I'll just end that recording. Um, what are we at now with the... It's got a long flight time, geez. Uh, we're at about 36%. What I'm gonna do now, guys, okay? I'm just gonna push out a couple of hundred meters, up and out, and then I'll just do a return to home. I'm not gonna fly this to low LVC. I'm in second speed mode. I'm recording, yep, I'm recording. So I'll just push it out. So I'm a fair distance away, guys. 116. Seems further than that. Okay, let me bring it back now. I can still see a line of sight. So, uh, let's bring it back. And I'll call that a first impressions flight and review of the FQ777 F8. Mavic Air clone, you could say. Okay, so I think actually, <laughs> it's not coming home here. It's coming home to that surround me point. Remember how I was doing the surround me? So there you go. It's uh, actually remembered that point. So that's why I was reading a hundred and something meters from over there. Okay. Interesting. Now what I like about this uh, controller, probably can't see that, I'll bring it down. It's a little compass on it, it tells you the heading of the quadcopter. It's a little uh, icon here, let me just try to bring the camera in. See that? And every time I pan, you're cheers. See that, the arrow changes. Arrow changes to the right, so that's where it's showing you the heading of the quadcopter. Can you see that? Hopefully you can. So that's another neat little telemetry uh, addition there. Little icon of the drone. Okay, let me just bring it down guys. Because I've got to shoot another quick video while I'm out here and uh, that'll be it for me for a while, for filming for a while. All right, my friends, well, hope you enjoyed this uh, first look at the, the review, I'm reviewing it, but uh, first impression, impression flight. Let me just try to, I'll use a one key landing. Hold it down. Got it. Okay, he doesn't want to do one key rail landing, so <laughs> let's bring it down myself. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, brought it down myself. Okay, guys, let me uh, just finish that recording. So anyway, some of the legs folded in here after bouncing around. <laughs> so anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this review of the FQ777, their first attempt I believe at a brushless quadcopter or drone. They've done a pretty good job. You can see the gimbal's still working, rather good. 
left to right. So the yeah, gimbal seems like it works pretty good. Um, so yeah, as you can see, it's like a Mavic Air knockoff. I think they've done a pretty good job so far with it from today's flight. This is a maiden flight, so I've done no testing at all. I just got this in the other day, so um, just wanted to get it up and out on this pretty nice calm day. It's, it's calm down a bit now, so it's pretty nice. So uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you liked it, feel free to comment below, thumbs it up, and uh, if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. There'll be more cool RC videos and reviews coming up shortly. Okay, guys, so um, enjoy your day, and uh, thanks for watching. This is the F8 Monster drone from FQ777. Thanks for watching as always, guys. Sure do appreciate it. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye for now. Happy flying.